Let's talk about making a pivot table that can display the data by a day, quarter, month, or year, and how we can filter on that as well. So here we have a big list of data. And of course, this will make a great pivot table because uh, the field names are up at the top and it's one big list of, the, of data below that. If I scroll down, you can see it goes down a couple hundred rows. So you have a big list of data. Now we want to organize this by day, month, quarter, or year. So we'll make our pivot table. I'm going to pick on the insert menu up at the top and I'll pick on the icon where it says pivot table here, insert pivot table. And we get this window. Usually you'll just click OK on this window because it has a proper data range and we're going to put it into a new worksheet. So I'll click OK. It does take us to a different sheet. As you can see, now I'm on sheet two. So now, by the way, I like my fields on the right hand side to be displayed this way. So I'm going to click on the pull down for the uh, settings wheel and I'll say side by side. Now my fields are over here and my sections are over here. So I'll pick up the office field and drag it into the rows. And then we see the pivot table on the left. So then I'll pick up the date field and move it into the columns. Now, first of all, notice how it's showing us by year. So watch how I can sh show uh, change the way it's going to display. I'm going to right click on 2013. And the important choice is the word group. Now, it'll only let you group the dates if every one of those was a date back on the other sheet. If even one of them is not a date, it doesn't let you group that. So I'll pick on group. Now we have this window. So I can put a date range in here. Down here, I can pick on one of these or more than one. So you can even do it by second, minute, and hour if you have a time field, like a date and time. But in this case, I'll just choose the word month and click OK. And now it's by month. To put some numbers in the pivot table, I'll move something into the value section. Usually you have a number field in the value section. So I'll pick up total and drag it into the values. So now I have it broken down by office by month. So we moved a date field over here into the column section. Now watch again how I'm going to change the way it displays. I'm going to right click where it says January and I'll pick in the word group. Now this time I'll pick more than one. So I'll pick on years, quarters, and months. I'll click OK. And now the years are broken down into the quarters and the quarters are broken down into the months. Each quarter has a total. Each year has a total. So now we have a pretty good pivot table. So you can see I moved the flight day over into the column section and you can break it down by day, month, quarter, or year, or even by second, minute, and hour if it was a time field and any combination. Now, let me show you how we can filter on those. Now, of course, you can use the pull downs over here to do the filter that way, but we're going to add a slicer in. So I'm going to pick on the pivot table analyze tab and I'll say insert slicer. And notice how because I moved the fields into the column section, I can have a slicer by month, quarter or year. So this is relatively new. I'm going to choose month, quarter, and year there. But that only happens when you move the date field into the column section. I'll click OK. So now, here's the slicers. So I can, I can organize so they're uh, quarter, I mean year, quarter, and month. So I'll pick on 2018. And now it's just showing me the one from 2018. Let me click on 2014 and I'll pick on February here. And now very quickly I can get to the exact ones I'm looking for based on the slicer. To pick more than one choice from the slicer window, I can click on these check marks there. So I'll pick on February and April and May. And now it's showing you the ones that you really want to see. So this is a, a the slices have been around for a while, but they just got these dates working pretty nicely. Uh, so if I click on the pivot table, I move the flight date over into the column section. Then 
to change the way it's going to display, I'm going to right click either on the month or the day or the year or the quarter. And you pick in the word group. On this one though, you can pick a, a date range or uh, choose one or more of those. So I chose month, quarter, and year. Once you do that, the data will display. And then the slicers can be found under the pivot table analyze menu. And I said insert slicer. And then here we have month, quarter, and year. Now, another way to filter out the date is with what we call a timeline. And this has been around for a while. So uh, now the timeline can work even if you didn't uh, move the move the date into the uh, column section. So let's try something different. I'm going to get rid of those slicers first of all. You can see how that works. Now this time I'm going to remove the, the flight date from the columns. I'll just drag it back to here and move this flight date back and the one for the month back again. Now I'm going to pick up the airline field and move it into the columns. Now notice this time when I pick in the pivot table analyze tab and pick on insert slicer, the, uh, I could still make a slicer based on the month and quarter and year. So those are still available. Let's try another kind of slicer that's called a timeline. So this time I'll pick on pivot table analyze and then pick on the insert timeline. And then I have the flight date and click OK. Then you get this window. This window can be also be changed to show the year, the quarter, the month, or even the date. Okay? So this is another way to filter out the uh, filter out the the dates. So I'll tell you what, we'll add the slicer in. I did it by year. And now I'll combine that with the other slicer. So I'll pick on the pivot table analyze tab and say insert slicer. And now these are still available. So I'll pick on months and years this way. So now you have a little bit more flexibility. Uh, now I can pick the year down here and the month and the, uh, the quarter. Now, even though that date isn't displaying, I can filter that using the slicer and the timeline. So now you know how to display either the month, date, quarter, or year on the pivot table or any combination and also filter on those using the slicer and the timeline.